So that's week two. Make sure on week two sessions that you are going through, take advantage of all these reps, all these learning opportunities. I don't really want you to do more and extra kicks in your kicking session. Just do what's required. There's gonna be plenty of time for us to build up more reps bigger sessions and you'll get your chance to get even more kicks. Last thing, make sure for the whole week one and week two, you have got these recorded in your journal. Don't think you're gonna catch up these thoughts because in a couple of weeks, all these learnings, all these thoughts will be out of your head. So after every kicking session in your journal, make sure you're writing out these kicking sessions. So what is the focus of today's session in week one and two? It's our ball set up. So make sure you've got your ball set up. I've got my Gilbert on the side, I like it. I've got my valve down. If, you, if you're using a different brand of ball, whatever it is, just make sure that you're setting throughout this whole 12 week program, the ball up the exact same. It just adds to the process, make sure you're nailing the little steps it takes to become a really good kicker. Right, all 10 of these kicks down that right channel, let's get a nice strike and start well. So you've had your 10 kicks from over in the middle, you're getting that ball going down the right channel. Now we want the same principle applied but from the 15s. Now yes if there's wind, if there's things you've got to allow for, you have to, but on a day like today where there's no wind, I want to start that ball again down that right channel, the ball flight will take care of itself. One other thing I'd highly recommend when you're kicking from these 15 metre lines is I never used to like putting my tee on a line. Visually, when I was sitting at my back of the mark, if the tee was on a line, it just meant I was uncomfortable, just didn't feel right. So I always, even if the penalty was on the 15 metre line, I'd just take it away from it, just so that I'm kicking from green grass, heaps of space. Same principle, let's put this down the right channel. Stay slow, trust my timing. So similar principle when it comes to this side of the field as well. I never put my tee on a line. I didn't my body, I didn't want my body close to the 22 meter line either. So let's nail our ball set up. We've had 10 from the middle, five from the right, and now I'm into my last five from the less left side of the field. So for me that right channel is still the focus here. So trusting myself that my ball flight will bring the ball back. Just to the right of the black dot is my target here. Kicking away from lines, same thing, good strike. One thing I tend to do, and you guys might find, is from this side of the field, this was the side I'd always leave my kicks over there, coming in, pushing the kicks, right? So I'd always tell myself, trust my body, get my hips behind the ball, and get the ball going to the post. Just make sure your angles are the same, feel like you're up the back of the ball, get your strike, stay slow, trust my timing. Pulled it a touch, but just snuck in. <laughs> 